I didn't expect that Varroa mites would cause a such a problem on my first year of beekeeping. I got my first two beehives at the end of May and I was thrilled when my initial mite count in July showed zero mites on both of my hives. I thought I had dodged the mite bullet for the season. However, a second mite test I did in September showed a different story. Furrow mites are these tiny parasites that attach themselves to bees and feed from the bees. Also, they transmit deadly viruses, which decreases the chances of the colony surviving over winter. So in September, I did the mite test again, and on hive one, I got nine mites out of 300, which is 3% infestation. Then on hive three, I got five mites out of 300, which is a little bit under 2%. And on hive two, I got 15 mites out of 300, which is 5% infestation. So those results showed that I definitely need to treat my hives. And I did a research on the type of treatments and decided to start with oxalic acid vaporization. I got the equipment and treated hive one and two. Hive three was under 2% and I decided to wait for another week to see what the numbers are gonna be. A little bit later, I checked hive two again and I found 24 mites. So that is 8% infestation. This time I decided to treat all six of my hives and I placed a board in one of my single deep colony to see how much mite drops I was gonna get. So after 24 hours, I was able to count over 80 mites that dropped on a single deep colonies. 24 hours later, I counted 16, and 24 hours later, I counted two. So, seems like most of the mites that were hit by oxalic acid dropped down in the first 24 hours. Two days after the treatment, I also did a test to see what was the mite count on Hive 2. And this time I got 27 out of 300, which is 9% infestation. So that went from 5% to 9% in six days. The thought that oxalic acid is not killing the mites crossed my mind, but the other explanation for that would be that in those two days, more mites emerged from the cells that were capped. And oxalic acid does not kill any mites that are inside a capped cell. But I decided not to treat it again that close to the previous treatment. So I waited for another six days and did a mite test again. This time I got 40 mites out of 300, which is a little bit over 13% infestation. And I did do the treatment on all six hives. Two days after treatment, I checked hive two again and the mite count was down to 11 mites per 300. So that is a little bit under 4%. Six days later, I did another mite test on hive two and got 14 mites out of 300, which is almost 5% infestation. And for hive three, I got 10 mites out of 300, which is a little bit above 3% infestation. Now the hive two, which one was struggling the most with mites, I've noticed that it started to struggle with brood. So there was much less cat brood than when I did the first treatment, which in theory increased the effect of oxalic acid on mites because there was less mites that were already in the cells that weren't touched by oxalic acid. I'm not sure if oxalic acid was the reason why the brood decreased to that level. It is getting colder, so that might have been the reason, but comparing with other hives, this hive definitely showed struggling. So I decided to switch the type of treatment and I went with the APVAR strips, hoping that the hive will be able to get some more brood before the winter comes. And the last check I did was in October 14, and this time I found five mites out of 300. So my mite count is much lower than the highest 40 that I had. So that is less than 2%. I'll keep my eye on the mites right now, 
and I'm still planning to treat them with oxalic acid in November when there's gonna be no brood to make sure I kill the last of those mites and hopefully the hives are gonna survive over winter. I'll do an update video after I'll do the last treatment.